Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today, I, I'm going to show you how to uh, share the reports, how to schedule the reports, okay? How to add reports to a particular dashboard, okay? So let's see. Okay, um, log into your instance. In the last video, um, I have shown you how to create a reports, okay? Uh, active problems. Let's use those report, okay? Reports. Re uh, reports, go to the reports, okay? And view or run reports. So I have created active problem reports in the last video, okay? So uh, go to this report, okay? go to this report so for example this uh, report is only shown by or seen by system administrator so i want to show to the itl role users or itl user or any group people so then what i need to do is click on sharing button okay here you have a share button okay click on share it's visible to me me means who is created okay so if you want to show to everyone you can show the everyone okay or requires role okay anything okay the groups are user okay for example if you want to share to one particular group you can click on groups or if you want to share to the users you can share the users also for example i will add in the user itil user itil user okay and okay and save it and save it okay so i have saved now Okay, now let's impose net uh, with ITL user. ITL user. Go to reports. Go to reports. View our run. Okay, click on all. Okay. Uh, there are no favorites because the favorite is only for admin. Okay. Now, type problem problem okay problem uh, table is problem so active problems you can see the active problems is available created by admin on all these things okay so i cannot save it but i cannot i can uh, i cannot uh, edit it okay as an itl user i cannot edit it but what i can do you i can do is i can create a new report okay based on this report by clicking on insert or insert and stay okay or i can share i can add to dashboards i cannot share to any other one okay so itl users okay cannot share to anyone once it is shared by some other users okay they can add to their dashboards but they cannot uh, edit it or they cannot um, uh, share to anyone else okay that's it okay or uh, they can uh, they, uh, they can customize i mean they can for example if i have uh, one field okay and i can run and i can see that's it but i cannot save it or only i can only insert and in certain state okay if i change the report type also i cannot save it only i can create a new report or uh, that's it i can run that okay that's it okay let's imp uh, end the impersonation Okay, now again go to reports. So it's a, a very hectic time. Like I, I want to go to a report, click on reports, everything. Just go to the history and click on active reports problems. So directly it will open. Okay. Okay. So now, for example, um, now we know how we share the reports. Okay. Now I want to uh, send this list uh, every. Um, every five days or every 10 days or a weekend, okay, or something like that to some uh, uh, DL or some groups or some users, okay? I need to send an e email, okay, to them. So how I can do is I can uh, schedule it, okay? Click on schedule. So schedule an email, or name of the report, schedule executions of uh, active problems. You can name to anything. 
OK, uh, schedule execution of active problems or anything or whatever it is like. OK, it's just for your purpose only. OK, report which report active. OK, to whom I need to send an email. OK, so the employee or any any user you can select. OK, not only anything. For example, I want to send an uh, uh, user which is having an email address. OK, let's pick something. OK, and you watch. OK, or if you have any email address, you can add it. OK, what will be the subject of the email? OK. Um, I will add. List of. Active. Problem. OK, so if you want to add a message, introductory message, you can add it. Hello. Please find attachment. Or something like that. Okay, how the attachment should go as a PDF or XLX or CSV or PDF landscape or anything. Okay, something. If you want to inject, you can inject it. Or you want to include an another report in same so that you can include another report also or another email also. Page size is A4. Okay, A4. Omit if no records. No records means don't send any email. Okay, if you want to oh, have met some condition, right? Okay, uh, some conditions you need to add, you can add it. Once it is true, then only the email will send it. If not, no. Uh, when you want to run, it's daily or weekly or periodically or month or something. I want to send a daily, month, weekly. Uh, weekly and uh, on Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Let's see like Monday or uh, at um, 1 a.m. OK, every Monday I need to send at 1 a.m. in the morning itself. OK, or you can select on demand. OK, on demand. So whenever you want to select, you can execute this email. OK, so let's on demand and submit it. OK, the, once you have scheduled it, OK, then automatically a check mark, tick mark is, is available beside the schedule. You can see it, OK? So that means it is scheduled. OK, that means it is scheduled. OK, so uh, if you want to export to PDF, you can export to PDF by clicking on here, OK? Or you can uh, click here and uh, export to PDF or export set or JSON or whatever you like. You can do from the Excel also, from the column list also. OK. OK, so if you want to add to a dashboard, OK, uh, you can add it from here by clicking on Add to Dashboard. OK, so which dashboard you want to add? OK, so do we have any problem dashboard? Uh, let's type problem we have problem overview we have okay under which tab you need to add okay there is no tabs okay let's add um let's add a new tab okay add it and add it so it will add automatically add your problems and problem overview okay add your problems you got it okay that's how you can add it. So now go to uh, schedule reports. Schedule reports. OK, go to schedule reports. So open this one and this we selected as on demand. That's the reason. OK, execute now. Execute now. Now go to the email logs. We'll see how it goes. OK, now go to the email logs. Email logs. So an email is sent to this one subject contains list of active problems. Open this one. As you see the attachment, active problems attachment. And if you preview the email, the same thing. Hello, please find the attachment. OK, something we have added it. OK, and the attachment and the subject and the recipients. OK, 
That's how you can schedule the reports. And if you want to add to the dashboards, for example, let me go to home page. OK, go to the dashboard. Dashboards. So we added directly from the dashboard problem overview. So if you want to add any other dashboard, the same report, OK, so for example, on the ITL dashboard, OK, on the ITL dashboard, I want to add um, the uh, active problems report. Just click on add widgets, the favorite reports, the reports, active problems, we got it, and you can add it anywhere, wherever you would like. OK, so simple. So this is how we can share the report, add the uh, report to the database, I mean dashboard, and schedule the report. OK? That's it. Yeah, thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.